He's on death row for the double murders at a local music venue known as Taco Land. And now tonight, Joseph Gamboa is giving his first interview ever. Now you've heard from artists that used to play at the bar and heard about the doorman who was one of two men who were killed there in 2005. Our coverage continues tonight as Erica Hernandez brings us an exclusive interview with Joseph Gamboa. I had nothing to do with this crime. Over and over throughout our entire interview, Joseph Gamboa denying taking part in the 2005 murders and robbery at Taco Land on West Grayson Street. Being in this position to be wrongful, convicted of something that I didn't do, it's wrong. He does admit being there with his friend Jose Najera the night of the murders, but leaving before anything happened. I was there. I never denied being there. I was there and I, and I how do you say, played a game of pool, bought a beer and left. And that was it. Evidence and eyewitness accounts told a different story. Gamboa and Najera entered the bar and began playing pool. But then Gamboa got into an argument with owner Ramiro Ram Ayala and shot him in the stomach. The two men then proceeded to rob the bar and shoot two other employees, Doug Morgan, who died of his injuries, and Denise Coger, who survived. Gamboa says that there were inconsistencies with the police investigation and that his trial in 2007 and appeal for retrial in 2013 were unfair and that Coger had misidentified him. She gives an inaccurate an accurate, honey, identification of the of the person that did the crime. You know what I'm saying? I'm not 5'8". I'm not 5'7", 180, 190 pounds. Gamboa's accomplice, Jose Nakeda, pled guilty to this crime and took a plea deal for 50 years. He died in prison in July 2015. As for Gamboa, he waits the day either he gets a retrial or an execution date. I'm just going to leave this in, in the hands of God, you know, and just uh, let him... Um, guide the way like he has. Gamboa, who's been on death row for 15 years now, is still fighting his conviction. He is currently on his fourth appeal. No execution date has been set. At the Polanski unit, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News. If you've missed any of the stories we've done on Taco Land today, our coverage continues on KSAT.com. We actually have some new pictures and details there as well. And tomorrow you can also listen in on new insight into Joseph Gamboa's interview in the South Texas Crime Stories latest podcast episode. That episode will be released tomorrow.